Welcome to Good Friday Online at Owasso First Assembly. For the next few minutes, gather your family and join us as we take a moment to look at what Good Friday means to us. The beautiful yet humbling reminder of the love of God and His sacrifice for us. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, he shared a final meal with his disciples. This meal to the Jews was a symbol of freedom and liberty, recognized in the exodus of Israel from Egypt at the beginning of their nation. The lamb played a central part in this feast. The night before God redeemed Israel from Egypt, the Israelites were instructed to take a lamb without blemish for every household and slaughter it at twilight. Blood from the lamb was spread on their doorposts so that when the angel of death came to claim the firstborn of Egypt, the Israelite homes were passed over. In addition to the slaughtering of a lamb, the Jews used various cups of wine and bread as a specific symbol of liberation and freedom during their meal. It was with this observance that Jesus broke the bread and told them to remember his body by the broken bread. He passed the cup of blessing and told them to remember his blood by that cup. The disciples may not have completely understood what was taking place and what Jesus was initiating on this night, but Jesus was proclaiming his role 
as a Passover lamb that year. No longer would it be necessary to commemorate the passing over of the children of Israel in the Exodus because a greater sacrifice was being offered. A greater price was about to be paid. A greater covering was made for all those who would submit themselves under the blood. There was a new passing over taking effect. The passing over of a sinful humanity covered by the blood of Christ. Jesus became the perfect lamb with his body and with his blood, offering to us symbols of liberation and redemption from the bondage of sin. On this solemn Friday, thousands of years ago, Jesus would solidify the plan of the Father. Jesus would mend what was broken in the Garden of Eden. What was lost in Adam would be restored in Christ. All would soon echo the words of John the Baptist, Behold the Lamb of God who wipes away the sins of the world. On this Good Friday, Jesus would fulfill the words of Isaiah, he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. sacred hill where violence purchased peace the innocent was bound to set the captives free there you made a way the lost are welcomed home
At the first communion, Jesus established two very important facts. He first said, this bread is my body, which is broken for you. By declaring that he was making this statement, he would be broken so that we might be made whole. Then he said, this is my blood, which is shed for you. He was telling us that he would die so that we may have abundant and eternal life. Paul goes further and teaches us about communion. There are three things that we do. We look back and we remember what Jesus did for us. What an incredible sacrifice, the greatest ever made, Jesus gave for us because of his great love. But secondly, we look inside and we examine our hearts to make sure that there's no sin. And if there is, we repent and ask God to cleanse us. Thirdly, though, we look forward to the time that we will celebrate this with Christ in heaven as we have total fellowship with him there, united and restored completely. On the night of his betrayal, Jesus took the bread and he broke it and he said, this is my body which is broken for you. Would you partake of the bread with me? Jesus, I thank you for your broken body that gives us wholeness and completeness. You suffered because of your great love for us and we worship you because of the intensity of your desire to bring us into God's family. Thank you for restoration. Thank you for wholeness. We give you praise for your goodness. Amen. He then took the cup and he said, this cup is my blood which is shed for you. And by his shed blood, all of our sins are washed away. Would you partake of the cup with me? Thank you, Lord, for dying so that we might live. Thank you, Lord, that death could not hold you, that you were resurrected. And now you live and you intercede, you pray for us in heaven. And I pray, God, that we would be faithful to you and that we would rejoice in knowing the great provision that we have through the death and resurrection of Jesus. We do give praise in his name. Amen. Thanks for being with us for this special Good Friday time together. I'd like to encourage you to join us tomorrow at 5 p.m. for our first Easter service, and then there will be another identical service on Sunday at 1030. We would love to have you join us online or in person, and we encourage you to be somewhere this Sunday, this weekend, celebrating the resurrection of Jesus. God bless you.